Hi guys, welcome to the channel. So, the question of today is, do you rather stack all of this, meaning gold and silver, or cash? So now, I think, if you want to stack short term, it's got to be cash. I'm stacking cash right now because I just got laid off and I don't think six months of cash is going to do it this time. I think you're going to need to stack a lot more than six months. It just ain't going to cut it. If it does, that's good, but I don't, I'm not planning on that. So, I'm slowly accumulating silver, and then, yeah, start mainly focusing on cash, but slowly, slowly, still adding ounces of silver to the stack. I wish I could keep getting gold right now, but I can't afford it. I'm just going to be getting silver. Silver is what I'm focusing on. This stuff, it's a little out of my ballpark. I'm glad I got this while I could, though. Glad I grabbed a few ounces of gold while silver premiums were high, and but as long as you. See, I barely have any gold, though. I got a wealth, uh... I could only get this. Because I was smart about when I bought it and waited till it started to get cheap. But when it got cheap, it sold out the next day. So the day it goes down, you gotta buy if you miss out. At this time, I don't think you could even wait till then. Because I think it could very well all of this. We could be seeing deflation because I don't see too many people spending money. Seems like everyone's lost their jobs nowadays. I don't know what they say the unemployment rate is even though we all know it's a lot higher than what they say it is. But Yeah, I just don't see too many people spending money too fast, meaning deflation will come. Gold and silver don't do well in deflation. They're like inflation. But when going into deflation, that's when you want to keep buying. Because once the price gets too low, it's, you can't find it. Sure can find those paper ounces though, but <laughs> the physical, you can't find them and you find it anywhere. If I don't buy the paper ounces, just the physical. I see the paper ounces as a scam. But, see, once people do feel comfortable spending their money again, we I think we got some time before that happens. Although, what do I know? I'm just a random guy on the internet. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not an econ economist, but I do have common sense, and it panned out for me very well in the past, and I have a very strong distrust for the government. So I believe the stats and all the figures that they're giving out. I don't believe they're 100% accurate ever. You gotta do your own research and figure everything out for yourself nowadays. If 
you don't, well, it just doesn't make sense to me. But with the deflation coming, do you think if it is coming, I could be wrong, it could be right, who knows? You please tell me your thoughts on that, but if there is deflation coming before we see inflation, I'm still buying now, but I'm not buying aggressively now. I'm not buying as much as I can now because I'm setting some money aside for potentially cheaper deals than the dollar cost averaging approach I have taken so far. But I'm just I'm just a bit curious on what your guys' thoughts are on buying it now or if you guys think I could will be able to get it when prices go down, if it'll be completely out. I don't know. Last time it ran out pretty fast. The market doing what it's doing, there could be margin call soon. I've never seen an economy tank while the markets go skyrocketing. As I said, I'm not an economist, I'm not a financial advisor, but that doesn't make much sense to me. Although it does make sense that with all this money printing... You see, that's the main thing. With all this money, <clears throat> money printing right now, I just see... I just see risk as in not having this. I'm glad I bought before I felt that way because I don't like to make emotional decisions. I don't like to have a fear of missing out on things. And now I think it's kind of funny cause now since I do have a bit of fear about all this. I'm not buying as much as I can. I'm actually holding off and buying way less than I normally would have and trying to increase the cash amounts. So, should I be buying gold? Silver? Keep doing what I'm doing? Because I'm only on unemployment. I don't have a big budget. Saving for gold takes a lot of time on markets and everything. On There's a lot that could happen by the time I can save for a quarter ounce or so. Tell me your thoughts on this coin with all the talk about the police lately. It's the 2020 100th year anniversary of the RCMP. It's a cool design. It's not often you don't see the queen. Not that the king's much better. If you can't find those RCMP coins anywhere. Same as the Philharmonics. I've only gotten one tube of these since since COVID, but can't find them anywhere. If you guys do know where to find them, please let me know. Tell me your, all your thoughts on everything. And if you could comment, like, share, subscribe, promote the channel, that'd be awesome. Help me out a lot. Stay positive. Bye.